What's up everybody? This is VC Diesel Wild Boys Inc. And here we got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Power Cube. Now I've never been a massive fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! So you're gonna have to help me out when we hit the big ones here because undoubtedly we will. But instead of selling it or returning it, I'm such a card freak that I gotta open it. I gotta know what's inside. I gotta try it out. So let's see what we got. We'll do a review of something I don't know about, and we'll see how it works. So it looks like it opens around here in the corner. It's gonna slide out, right? How does that open? So, here we go. Ah, all right. Wow, okay, so you get a bunch of packs. Speed Duels, Attack from the Deep, Cybernetic Horizons, and Pharaoh's Servant. So you get one, two, three, four, four card packs, and two nine card packs, and then a bunch of loose and commons, which I'm definitely not going to sleeve all of them, because that is a, oh, I lied, there's another pack hidden. Another pack. Woo. All right. Wow. Maybe I should sleeve them because they look pretty nice. At least the first couples. All right. So they're looking like most of them. All right. These definitely. These are very nice cards. They're like the magic cards. So let's see. First off, this is going to be like a loose go through because I'm not super familiar. So I just wanted to open up and see what the product was like. We got the Sage for Hire here, Wiz. First edition. Beautiful card. 1996 first edition. In my oversized sleeves. That's number one. Boom. Next up, we've got the Hex Trude. Another first edition card. I know nice cards when I see them. Look at that. All hollowed out. All beautiful art. Very nice. That's up. Then we've got... Koaki Meru Guardian. That's our first edition rock. And we're going to get a black card here. First edition Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion. And then we're going to get a cross sword beetle. Check that out. First edition as well. So we did get five first edition cards, which anytime you get something like that, that's wonderful. Beautiful. And we're going to go through these looking for the first editions. I mean, I'll, I'll take this one up too. Even though he's not a first edition, he's very powerful. And that's a super armored robot arm, Black Iron C, all 96. I'll put him up as well. All right, now let's check these out. I'm gonna put them straight down and then I'm gonna put them right back in the case. Clock Lizard. Siberus Wicked, Sharanu Smith, that's a first edition, we're going to take, okay, we're going to get a couple first, so why that's happening, we'll take 
We'll put all. We're definitely sleeving the first edition. Sharanu Smith. He's in the first edition. Got to treat him like gold. That's the motto. Next up. Sharanu Samurai. So you get the Smith, and then you get the Samurai. Beautiful. First edition Sharanu Style Synthesis. We're just going to pump out first editions. Dynamic, Dynamic Power Load. Spell cards. Just familiarizing myself. We'll do what it takes here. Dino Miss Charge. So, so far, this Power Cube is fantastic because it's loading you with first edition cards. So if you're a collector like me, you know when you got a good product. And this is a good, good product. We didn't even get into the packs. I don't even know how we're supposed to go through all of these. Crazy. But we will somehow. Next up, we got a Dino Mist Stegosaur. First edition. Dino Miss Brachion, first edition. Crazy that these weren't first editions, but they weren't. Dino Miss Ceratops, I feel like I'm doing Power Rangers now. It's a first. Gotta move this to the side. It's a big cube. And you got a super heavy samurai soul claw first. We're just ripping first. Super heavy samurai soul buster gauntlet. Dynamist Plesios, first edition. Devil's Brew just came online. Crazy. Then we're going to get an Evil Tile Mega Chirilla first. Protocol Gardner. Tachyon Spiral Galaxy first. If you guys need to, just pause and read them. I try to leave them up there for a couple seconds so you get a quick pause on it. The World Legacy. Marincess, Marincess, Crown Tail. Nice defensive. Once we fill, we'll clear, except for the bigger hollows. Then you got a Chobiam Armor Dragon first. I'm liking this because they're all first editions. There's only a handful that were not. 
Still from 96, just not a first. Marincess Sea Angel first. And we're going to hold. We're going to clear. Let's clear them all out. The only one I sleeved that was not. I mean, that's, that's a good one, too. These two can come in. Not first editions. This one's a non. Let's keep them down here for now. All right, we'll leave our big boys up. These to the side for the moment. Uh, these two are not. I almost feel like I should sleeve them because they are not. <laughs> they're not first editions. Because uh, everything else was. Watt Train. Marin says Battle Ocean. World Legacy, World Key. This is crazy. Dino Wrestle Marshall Ampelo. DD Patrol Plane. Old Mind. Come on. Arrow Mage Laurel. Oh, okay. Gladiator Numachia, first edition. That's nice. Gladiator Beast Monster. Oh, and we're going to hit first edition Pro Meteor, the Burning Star. It's a nice card. Okay, we're going to hit a couple big boys here. We got Desert Locust first. Now I feel better about this other big guy chilling. Let's put him back up in there with him. And you got a trap card. Abominable Chamber of the Unchained. Prime Mineral Manstrong. A rock effect. Infinitrack Brutal Dozer. So they're all first editions. Incredible. Except for two. Bayonator, the Baneful Barrel. So we're going to hit all, all of the sleeved cards. Our big boys. They're all first editions. So you are getting your money's worth. 
in what is it like a twenty dollar you know pack of cards here more than your money's worth this is great all right so that's all first editions except these two i want to know why we're going to sleeve them anyway because at this point it doesn't matter And then you had your big hitters up here, all your first edition hollows. Beautiful and beautiful. So those are our loose cards. We didn't even break into the main cards here. Should we do the whole power cube right now? Hold on, we're gonna find out. Hmm. Let's break open a couple of these. Let's see what we're dealing with. These are all first edition packs. Four cards per pack. Attack from the deep to speed duels. Sonic Duck. Ready for intercepting trap card. So we're rocking first editions. That's nice. Power of Cation. And fusion recovery, so no, nothing super crazy. This one's a speed duel. You can see it down here real quick. I mean, it says it's in the hollow. I can't even know if I can get it for you. Come on. You can kind of see it there. Oh, there it is. So that's your speed duels. They got that down there. All right, next. Let's see if we get something bigger here. Bigger speed duel. Come on. We got Great Phantom Thief. Din Disarray of Rituals. Warrior Elimination. Followed by, yes, the Sonic Bird Hollow First Edition. It's like an Omni Hollow. Beautiful. So we are starting to get the hang of it. We are starting to hit some cards. Let's go. I want to see the first big full art. They got one. First up, we got Arcane Barrier. Mystical Elf. Lost Blue Breaker. And Slushy. Continuing on here.
First up, we got Ready for Intercepting. We've had this first edition, so we're going to put it with the other first. Followed by Power of Cashin, which we've also had. Dweller in the Depths. And Fusion Recovery, which we've also had. All first editions continuing the trend in our first edition packs. Next. We've got the Great Phantom Thief. You just saw it. Let's put them away. Thief out. Then we have this next right here. The Mystical Elf. We're going to pull. Put away. Then we've got, where's that fat guy? Din Rituals. The Disarray of Rituals next. No need to look because we got it. And one we don't have, the Warrior, I don't think. Oh, no, we do. We have a Warrior Elimination. So that was almost two duplicates. All right, we're going to pull these down. So the best one there was most likely the Sonic Bird, if I had a guess, because it's a hollow. I don't know if one of these have more rarity than the others. All first editions. Put them in the back. Bird in the front. All right, two packs left, fellas. Cybernetic Horizon we're hitting first. Then we'll do the Pharaoh's Servant. We got nine cards here. All right, so these are not going to be first, but we'll still hit them. Mini Boral Dragon. Performapple Hand Samurager. Gookie Ring Trainer. Cosmo Brain. That's a nice card. All right, we got a Hollow here. Crusadio Revival Spell Card Hollow. and we've got I'd call it I'm going to call this a reverse hollow for now white stingray because the top is hollowed see it so those are two back to back hollows of sorts it's got a nice gilding Next, we've got the Metaphys Decoy Dragon. Turning of the World Spell Card. And last but not least, Terrifying Toddler of Torment. And yes, they are. All right, let's pull these down. And then we got our two, one with gilding, one without, one the hollow. And 
And last but not least, our Pharaoh's Servant cards. Here we go. We're going to do it. We got the whole thing flowing. And we're going to look. Attack and receive. Trap card. Then we got Mr. Volcano, like a gambit, one eye open. Minor Goblin Official Trap Card. Any day, maybe it'll uh, reevaluate, and we could show a better version here now. Come on, there it is. Let's follow that up with Flame Champion. Here you go. We got a nice reverse hollow, AKA Gilded Hayabusa Knight. Follow that up with a Kisetai. Kisetai? Very creepy. And we got a twin headed fire dragon pentagram. Clearly. Dark bat. And last but not least, Gamble Trap Card. So that's your whole Power Cube. Uh, my honest rating, because I'm not a super Yu-Gi-Oh guy, I'm not sure. I like that you get a couple packs. You get first edition packs, which is really awesome. Anytime you get first edition anything, it's nice to have. Um, some hollows, some gildeds. Uh, pretty cool. Overall, you get a bunch of cards. Look at this. I sleeved them all up. Bunch of cards. That's really great. And uh, let's see what it says on here real quick. You get the one legacy pack, one booster pack, five bonus packs. So that's the two, the bonus, five rare cards, which we got, and 35 common. So I don't even know. That's 40 and then there was nine in each pack plus 18 and then the five times four is 20 so you're getting pretty much 80 cards just about very nice uh if you're a collector Yu Gi Oh, i would highly recommend the power cube it's pretty sweet and it helps you build a quick deck right away with some decent cards and uh if you already have a deck it'll probably help you boost that one up quite a bit so that's pretty sweet overall. I liked it. I had a good time. If I'm rating the product 1 to 10, not knowing Yu-Gi-Oh, I mean, I'm sure you're more serious. There's got to be a collector, uh, the way like the collector boosters with the Strixhaven and all that. So without no that knowledge, I give it a solid 8. Overall, pretty sweet product. I had fun opening it. It was exciting. And uh, on VCD is a Wild Boys Inc., Thanks for watching, and that was the Yu-Gi-Oh! Power Cube. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you later.